Welcome back everybody, MC here with another video and today I want to show you guys how to clean polluted water in Oni. In Oni, I put all of my liquids into one big tub outside of my base and then I either clean it or filter it. And for example here, I have a slush geyser that is putting polluted water into my tank whenever it erupts. And then I clean the polluted water, turn it into normal water, change the temperature of the water depending on where I'm putting it. And then I can use it for clean drinking water. And it's one of the best ways to just have unlimited water in the game. So pretty much what you're going to need is you're going to need a liquid pump and then you're going to need water sieves. I usually use two next to my big tank because I need the water to go in different directions. I need to use it for different things. So you use sand whenever your water sieve changes polluted water to normal water. But if you're just pumping normal water into it because all of the polluted water has already been filtered, you don't lose any sand and it just goes in one side, back out the other side, and it's good to keep the flow of the water going. Obviously, this means you're going to be using extra power because the machines are constantly running or the pump is constantly running, but you can automate that if you have any power issues later on, especially when you have lots of machines running at the same time. Use a liquid vent to pump the water back into the tub. Now, technically, I'm putting normal water back into the tub right next to the pump, which is actually a bad thing because the polluted water that's in the tub isn't getting pumped but it's not that big of a deal, honestly. So whenever I want to use water and bring it into a different part of the base for drinking and for growing, I use a liquid filter near my tub. Usually I would have it outside the tub, but just for the sake of quickness, I'm gonna do this as quick as possible using sandbox mode. And I'm gonna put a liquid pump, liquid filter, I'm gonna pipe it up and I'm also going to power it. So I'm gonna be taking this water I'm going to be put it in into my base. I'm going to put myself another uh, liquid vent here so that the polluted water goes back into the tub for cleaning. So we want to set the filter, the liquid filter to water. So it allows water to go through and any other liquids go straight back into the tub, including salt water. So you can actually do this with salt water as well. You can have salt water in your tub and Taking the salt out of the water is a different job. I'll show you how to do that in the future. So we're going to be pumping this water, this clean water down towards our base. As you can see, the polluted water goes back in. The reason why it stopped here is because I have actually nowhere for it to go. And just really quickly, I'm going to use a liquid vent here just to let the water flow. But I actually don't want to let the water out here. I just want to let you see that it's flowing and that it's water that goes along this pipe. Now, one thing we will notice while we're messing around here, let me just destruct the, the, deconstruct this real quickly, is that the water is quite hot. It's 36 degrees, which isn't too bad, but it's not good enough for a base. It's going to heat up the base as it goes into the base, and it's also going to be bad for farming and all that kind of other stuff. So it's about 33 to 40 degrees, depending on which part of the pipe you look at. So what we're going to do is we're going to cool this water down a little bit. And how we're going to do that is we're going to find an area that is cooler. And we're going to pass the pipes through that area. And we have minus 20 up above the tank. So that's going to be a nice little area to cool it. I show you how to cool your base using this technique in another video that I'll link for you right now. But here we go with this. We're going to put the pipes up towards the cool area. And then we're going to use radiant pipes in the cold area to let off some of the heat of that water. And we're just going to sneak it through the area so that it lets off some of that heat and then back down towards the base. Now, if there's any colors at the moment that are a bit odd, especially any reds instead of greens, it's because I'm using colorblind mode for viewers. So don't worry about that. Everything is pretty much temperate and not molten, but I don't think it's going to show anything too shocking here. Now I have enough water in the base, as you can see already, I have enough drinking water, so I don't actually need this water yet. Just for the sake of showing it to you guys, I'm going to put the liquid vent here, but I am going to stop the water from going down to the base because as I just said, I don't actually need it yet. 
So the water that's going in is about 36 degrees Celsius, a little bit warm. So we want to have that cool down a little bit. Let's see how hot the water is when it leaves the cold area. We're melting the ice a tiny bit here by putting hot water in here, but we're just doing this for demonstration purposes. We're going to save all this later. It's 10 degrees once it comes out. So maybe I cooled it down a little bit too much, but it's going to pass through other heated areas as well as it goes down towards the base. So we're going to have to do measurements. We can always reduce the amount of radiant pipes that are snaking in the cold biome in order to stop it from getting that cold. We're going to send the water back towards the tub now. As you can see, it's going to get stuck on the filter because it's not, it has nowhere to go. And we don't want that because the water is going to constantly get colder from those radiant pipes and they're eventually going to break and spill all over the place. So we're going to have to empty this pipe. As you can see, it's going down really quickly and I'm just going to have to get a liquid vent here for that so that it's actually going to pour back into the tub. Anyway, one thing to learn from this is do not be afraid to mix your liquids in a giant tub. You can always filter them and have clean water going down to your base, even if there's polluted water and normal water in the same tub. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. Let me know if you have any other ways of doing it. And thank you very much once again. Ta-ta!